football. Remember the radio with your host, JT. Yeah, fuck it. Jen is a warlord. Oh. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Rambo Pro Radio. I am your host, Jen T. Twitter and Instagram at Jen T. Five, two, three. Yeah. Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> Hello, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? What's up with that? What's up with that? Yeah. I'm just in a singing mood right now. Can can I? May I sing a song for you? May I sing a little tune? May I play a little ditty on me, Shalele? <laughs> uh, let me see if I can remember the song. Oh, yeah. This is by Snow The Product with a T H A, and I've been listening to some uh, Mexicano rap a lot lately, and I feel like this gets me motivated for the week. So I be bumping the Snow Snow The Product. I be I be like, uh, Hola, what's happening? No cap in my caption. Got a little baddie and she takes me for the Eddie because I got a little thing when a bitch get ratchet. The ratchet, oh snow, so I'm in the kind of the window flow. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot the rest of the words. <laughs> uh, um, but I, I love listening to music that gets me pumped. And speaking of being pumped, we are less than five days away from. Skankfest Houston. That's right. Are you pumped? Because I'm fucking pumped. I'm just pumped to get the hell out of Dodge. <laughs> I'm, I'm stoked to leave my shitty ass town for 72 hours. <laughs> I don't even care if I fight. <laughs> I just want to leave. <laughs> I just want to leave my shit old town. But if you are excited, but you cannot make it to Skankfest because shocker, it's sold out. You are more than welcome to watch the pay-per-view on November 6th and 7th. But I will say this for all the 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 down ass foos, all the homies, just just wait for the YouTube, okay? <laughs> You don't need to pay for this, man. Just wait for the old YouTube highlights. Save yourself some monies, some coins, darling. You should be happy when you get to watch the the highlights for free. But in case you want to see it live, you can go to at Wolfmate page, and the link should be in his bio or his Twitter page, at Wolfmate. And you can watch Skankfest for a mere... What is it now? It's probably going to be like 20 bucks or something. I don't know. The price keeps going up every day. So if you want to pay to watch it, you better fucking buy it right now. Right meow. <laughs> but I am excited to see all of the friends. Uh, even though there won't be a whole lot of Ellis fam there, I'm just pumped to see everyone's smiling faces and have a good time. Let's party hard and be safe and have some good fucking fights. Yeah. It's time for Customers of the Week. I'm just going to warn you. If you're eating while listening to this. (laughs) I am so sorry. (laughs) Psych. (laughs) So this week had to help a lady whose son had pus infected feet. And didn't want to go to a doctor. <laughs> so I'm just minding my own business. And this lady comes up. Oh, mi, mi, mija, mija, you speak Spanish? I said, oh, uh, uh, muy, muy pequito, muy poquito espanole. No hable ingle, as Kanye West says. You know hable ingle. I said, yeah, I know a little bit. Get by. But then she just starts speaking perfectly good English. <laughs> I'm like, what the hell? Do we just jump into a fucking <laughs> Twilight Zone? <laughs> just a minute ago, you were asking for somebody to speak Spanish or if I spoke Spanish. And when I said no, 
She's like, oh, okay, well, I got a question. <laughs> I was like, damn, girl, <laughs> that was fast. What kind of Rosetta Stone was that? <laughs> she said, well, me, me, hijo, uh, my son, he, he have a, a something wrong with his foot. And then all of a sudden, her son walks up limping, this freaking choloed out <laughs> dude in the Raiders jersey. And all I could hear with him walking up and limping was the fucking bass line to La Raza. I was like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> doing the key frost. <laughs> He's like, hey, so uh, something's wrong with my feet or whatever, but I don't want to go to the doctor. I was like, uh. Okay, well, what's wrong with your feet? Uh, they hurt real bad. And so I don't take my shoes off ever. I just leave my shoes on. <laughs> I was like, the fuck, bitch? Why do you think what? Take a home? The fuck, bitch, yeah, please. <laughs> All I could think about is this dude showering in his fucking Chuck Taylors. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, I never take off my shoes uh, because my feet hurt. And I was like, oh. Okay, he said, you got something for for messed up feet? And then the mom goes, no, 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 no. His feet, they is, they is caught very badly. This is this, uh, an this, uh, infection. And I was like, infection? He goes, oh, yeah, uh, last time I saw my feet, uh, there was green stuff coming out of it. <laughs> I said, uh, uh, como? <laughs> KSO? What the hell? What are you saying right now, my guy? You said the last time you saw your feet, there was green stuff coming out of it. So I said, okay, what the hell is going on? He said, oh, uh, I may, uh, I may have hurt my, my feet or whatever at work or something. And, uh, I, n- I never take my shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> this is for la raza. <laughs> for la raza. Okay, fam. Well, you should probably take your shoes off to look and see if it is indeed infected or not. And the mom went, oh, oh, mija, I seen his feet. Oh, is green stuff coming out? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh. Oh, okay, so a green discharge? Listen, ma'am, I'm not a doctor, but we got about, oh, I don't know, one, two, three. We got about four hospitals in a four-mile radius, and you need to pick one of them and go right now. She said, he won't go, he won't go. He said, no, 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 no doctors, no doctors. I got this. I just need some vitamins for my feet because they hurt. I said, "Uh, sir. If your feet are hurting and there's green stuff coming out of it, I'm not a doctor, but that's infection. (laughs) He's like, oh, I don't know about green stuff, but there's something coming out of it, you know. But I, 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 I just don't look at my feet. I don't take my shoes off at all. I just I just leave my shoes on all the time. So I don't know. But do you got any vitamins or something? I was like, bruh, you are far beyond vitamin help right now. Okay, I said, I said, I cannot emphasize this enough to you. You need to go get medical attention. I'm not a doctor, but based on my uh, medical learning, what little bit of medical learning I had when I went to uni is that when something is green, that is the infectione, Okay. You need to get medical attention immediately. You could die from sepsis, okay? That's the, that's what they call blood poisoning when you get the the old infection, okay? Uh, you're in serious trouble if what your mom is saying is true. You need to go to a doctor right now. Not walk, not run. Like, you need to, like, hop in a fucking rocket ship and fly to the emergency room right now. <laughs> 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 He's like, oh, no, 
can I just take like some vitamin C or something? Or uh, what about uh, some like some like tea tree oil? Can I like pour that on there? And I was like, oh God! I said no. I said no. I said if you use tea tree oil right now and there's green stuff coming out, I said. Not only is the tea tree oil going to burn you, you're going to have burning, pus-infected feet. <laughs> Man, I said, sir, I'm, I'm, I'm begging you with all sincerity, please go get medical attention. And the mom's like, see, I told you, mijo, we can't buy a vitamin for your feet. We need to go to the doctor. No doctors, mom. No doctors. I don't want to go to no doctors. They don't know. They don't know. It's my feet are a little bit, you know, so I just leave my shoes on. I'm like, well, no, you need to take your shoes off and they need to be sterilized and you need to get medical attention, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Stop doing this for la raza. <laughs> I was like, sir, I'm, I am not going to sell you any vitamin in here. You need to leave immediately and go get checked out. So he limps out and then the mom does some shopping and comes back around. And she said, so let's say I buy this tea tree oil. Can I pour it on his feet? <laughs> and I was like, ma'am, it's going to burn. So, I mean, you could dilute it, but I mean, if it is infected, like what you're saying, you know, he's got to go to the doctor. Step. Like, ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. This fucking, <laughs> this fucking Vato's foot. <laughs> I, I, I almost wanted him to take his shoe off just so I could see it. And then I went, no, 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 it's fucking Lacovia in his fucking shoe. Oh my days. I was like, no, you you y'all gotta go. Okay. <laughs> and I told him where all the hospitals were at. I said, please go get checked out. And I said, and it, when you do get checked out, please, you know, call me back, give me a report. Cause I said, I'm not a doctor again, but you could lose your feet. They could be amputated. You could lose a leg. You could get septic and die. I mean, what what? Surely, sir, your foot is not that bad that you can't go get medical attention. And then I thought, oh, man, brother, man, may or may not have medical insurance, but you can still go to county. They'll still fucking look at your feet. It's, you know, just do something, fam. Like you can't come in a vitamin store and take care of fucking pussy ass feet. <laughs> 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 oh shit. Damn it. That was that was wild. Some current events, some current events. I did Filipino martial arts this week and I had a little uh escrima seminar and before you go, what's an escrima? That's also known as Filipino Kali. Uh you know, these martial arts with you're using sticks. This shit was crazy. Uh, they're wooden sticks, and you do these crazy ass combinations and shit. And it's like hand fighting. This shit was fucking badass. How did more people not do this? I'm excited to start taking Escrima classes. But the uh, teacher of the seminar, this guy was like 80 years old. 80 years old, barely spoke English, but was a fucking assassin. An assassione, okay? I would not fuck with this guy. He was showing me something with a stick, and then before I knew it, he had my arm all in a pretzel, and he took my stick away from me and whacked me with it. <laughs> <laughs> this guy is a bad ass mofo. Gramps can get it for sure. I was like, damn. I was blown away. I was like, wow. All this from a little, little wooden stick. Uh, I would hate to be the poor sod who robs that man. All y'all who are like, <laughs> all y'all weirdos who are trying to like attack Asian people, go on ahead and attack that guy. That guy will beat your ass. <laughs> 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 Holy shit. Oh, damn it. He's got the little fucking 
lawnmower glasses on and he was swinging his stick. And he was showing me something and he fucking whacked. Well, it was my fault because I didn't have my hand in the right place. He called out the combination and I did it wrong. And so because he's doing the combination right, he whacked my thumb. I'm not joking. My thumb was numb for a whole 24 hours. (laughs) I thought my thumb was going to fall off because I couldn't feel my thumb. (laughs) This shit was wild. But I highly recommend to go to YouTube and look up Escrima or Filipino Kali and see these people with these fucking sticks, man. They're so badass. It was like the fucking Matrix in there. My man was just like blocking shit, grabbing my wrist, hitting me with my own stick. I was like, damn, damn fool. All right, I surrender. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Right now, I've tried to avoid the current woke police upsetness going on with Dave Chappelle, but I got to say something. And this you fucking Momo trans activist who staged a walkout at Netflix over Dave Chappelle's comments about trans people in his special is under fire for racist tweets against Asians. The activist Ashley Marie Preston said Chappelle was inciting violence against the trans community during the walkout. She also took aim at Netflix CEO Ted Sardos saying he was out of touch with people in color and didn't understand so Matt, who is a journalist, Matt Ophelia, found these deleted tweets from 2019 saying the protest accusing comedians of LGBT phobia, hate speech and violence is led by Warren, a surrogate who threatened violence against against an ass fuck boy. Dick Ryder banished that faggot fucker and bragged of performing actual violence on Asian on this Asian bitch's head. Okay, so here are these tweets. Ashley Marie Preston. Bro, I beat the dog shit out of you. Furry slipper wearing ass fuck boy. I'd smash your fucking head in like a can of A.W. root beer. But I'm going to fall back and let you be, keep pretending for the internet. Dick Rider. <laughs> Asian hoes act like they won't get karate chop. And then they motherfucking throat. What's this hole staring at? Mind your be- beeswax. Hashtag bitch. <laughs> oh my God. You piece of shit. Ah. Latino and Asian businesses need to stop being rude and fucking disrespectful. And I know it's a lot to ask in California, but speak fucking English. Wow. What a real piece of garbage. What else she say here? Another damn Asian almost hit me while crossing. What the fuck is it? With you and your damn vehicles. I have no idea. This Asian M-bomb on the subway got a fat ass. He almost looks like the bitch from behind. Wow. Wow. Just broke my phone on this Asian bitch's head. Asian friends, but there's some motherfucking weirdos. Wow. Wow. I almost got hit by an Asian in a BMW as I crossed the street. Yes, I know what you mean, but the important thing is... We didn't say it. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. What's up with that? What's up with that? Just cross, just cuss that Asian bitch the fuck out. Mess up my order and then blame me? Bitch, never ordering again. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Clearly, this person is a jackass. I mean, how are you going to come after Dave Chappelle about some gay jokes, but then you tweeting some out-of-pocket shit on Twitter. No, wait, I mean, wait. really. <laughs> Those who throw stones. <laughs> Holy shit, this lady is a fucking wackadoo. And how are you, you know, trying to be... Do y'all find it funny that this bitch is trying to be all woke police on Dave Chappelle when now <laughs> she herself is about to get fucking canceled because of what the things that she has said, They're, which are way worse than Dave Chappelle. I mean... She's inciting violence on a gay reporter. She's inciting violence on Asian and Latinos. It's just, you just, you're just trash, lady. You're just trash. (laughs) (laughs) You have no right. You have no say. Uh, And once again, do not throw stones when you live in a glass house, bitch. And that's what you did. So all of these woke polices, 
always got something to hide. Everybody's got skeletons in their closet. Nobody's perfect. Why don't we focus on some real shit? Why don't we focus on supply chain? Why don't we focus on who's in fucking charge of this country? (laughs) Why don't we focus on getting this motherfucker Fauci fired, if not thrown in jail for this bullshit, how he spent over almost half a million dollars in grant money to torture beagles, okay? Straight up put beagles' heads in a trap and let some some flesh-eating sand flies eat the beagles alive. I mean, this guy is a sick son of a bitch. <laughs> Not only is he killing beagles, okay? This motherfucker's killing dogs, and he got like some four-plus million people killed. How does he still have a job is beyond me. I mean, can we say, can we be real now? My man's straight up caused Lakovia. He funded Lakovia, all right? How the hell are you still employed? How the hell are people still listening to this jackhole? <laughs> <laughs> My God, and now he's killing beagles? Fuck that guy. Fuck that rata. My goodness. I mean, uh, uh, a lovely day in hell would be for that guy to be eaten alive by beagles. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine they just lock that guy in jail and they just release thousands of beagles on <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, fuck that rata Fauci. Oh my days. It's becoming a common thing now that lesbians are now being targeted. There is backlash for lesbians not wanting to date trans women. Threats of transphobia and threats of violence are becoming a more regular tune for the lesbians. I gotta say, go on ahead and let some motherfucker try and threaten me for not dating a trans lady. I mean, really. (laughs) All I need you to do is touch me and it's over. It's over, Johnny. (laughs) Oh my gosh. I mean, so... I read a little bit of the article. I'm fully aware of what's going on. And unfortunately, based on the, again, woke police, according to the woke police, I am now considered a turf because I don't want to date a trans woman. And for those of you who don't know what a turf is, that is known as it is an acronym for trans exclusionary radical feminist. Uh, motherfucker, if you know me, I'm definitely not radical feminist. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me fucking tell you. So because I have a preference, I am now being targeted by trans women for not wanting to date them. I mean, what the hell is happening? I am not a transphobe. Motherfucker, if I could afford it, I would have changed a long time ago, okay? (laughs) All I got left is to cut the boobies off, and I'm done, son. I'm done, okay? I don't got any more lady plumbing. Uh, I don't understand women. (laughs) 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 So all that's left is to cut off the breast. (laughs) But I won't because... I'm saving thousands of dollars. I mean, listen to last week's episode. Homeboy straight up called me Jeremy for fucking 25 minutes. (laughs) So I don't need to change anything. Everybody's always going, sir, 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 excuse me, sir, sir, hey, sir. (laughs) So I'm saving me thousands of dollars by not transitioning, okay? (laughs) I just find that hilarious that. Because I don't want to date a trans woman, therefore I am a transphobe. This is ridiculous. Uh, this one time at the club, <laughs> I had seen a trans lady, <laughs> and she was steamy. Okay, but it was also fucking dark. Okay, so I couldn't see the old Adam's apple, or as my man, uh, who what's his name, my man, uh, who, 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 who who's not gay no more. <laughs> he said, "I got him an animal." Animals apple. <laughs> I have an animals apple. <laughs> I can't what fucking remember his name. That? Andrew something. What um, was that noise? Oh man, said I got an animals apple. <laughs> I have an animals apple. So I seen this steamy ass trans lady from across the club, and I was like, oh hell yeah, she's my type. She looking fine. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go say what's up. And I kept seeing the look. I kept looking, and I kept trying to look for the old animals apple, and I couldn't see it because it's hella dark. So I was like, what's up, girl? 
And what she's like, was- her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was a very effeminate voice. So I, again, I could not tell. So talked, bought some drinks. We started dancing, and once I felt the hot beef injection, I went. Inspector Gadget. I went, wait, what? I went, oh, damn. There is a, a sausage down there. And then I looked and went, oh, damn. There's an animal's apple. <laughs> I said, I have an animal's apple. Uh, I got to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of that club so fast. I went, oh, shit. <laughs> I got, I got deep, son. I got um, But uh, again, I have a preference. If I don't hear the macaroni sound down macaroni. there, if I hear a fucking toolbox <laughs> I'm out of there And that's exactly what happened I went Let's see if this makes the macaroni sound Wait what I heard a bunch of fucking tools in there (laughs) I'm out (laughs) I'm like Lovely child again Take care Bye bye (laughs) It was bizarre I was like Whoa Even I got fooled You see I'm pretty good Damn you club Nightclub with your dark ass lights and and the and the 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 breastesies, the breastesies on this lady. My God, I fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, I say this with peace and love. If you don't have, if it doesn't make the macaroni sound down there, I don't want it. <laughs> macaroni in a pot. <laughs> Uh, but shout out to my trans fam. I love y'all, uh, but just not that way. Okay? Have a nice day. Peace. What's up with that? Let's see what else I got for you. Oh, Irish girl pranks her dad into thinking she paid $70 to get air put in her tire. <laughs> Listen to this shit. It's great. <laughs> Toys. There's something wrong with you. How did you pay seven euros to get air in your toys? You don't pay for that, you head case. You sound like you have bleeding head. I hope you're not on the joints or you'll be getting slapped. The next time is I see you up here. 70 euro. Are you winding me up? 70 euro to get someone to put air in your toys. There's seriously something wrong with you. Seriously lacking the f- air cells in your brain. <laughs> Because the, because the one of the back tires went flat, right? So I was like, okay, grand, I'll go to Garrett and get it done. And then the fella behind the counter was saying, like, it was premium, like, air to put in the oak and all. So, like, I paid him 70 euro to do it. Premium air? Are you f- simple? <laughs> premium air? <laughs> what f- what? Listen, there's only one kind of air. That's the f- air that you breed. Premium air. <laughs> And any f***ing flat air, air is air, it pumps up a tyre. I hope you didn't give someone 70 quid. Actually, where, what garden did you go to, to get the air in? Oh, f***, give him 70, I'll, f- I'll box you and... <laughs> <laughs> what fucking garage did you go to? You paid 70 fucking quid for air. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days <laughs> The air you fucking breathe <laughs> It's free Premium air tires <laughs> Holy shit She fucking paid He told her premium air <laughs> Oh damn it I was fucking dying That was great Good little prank there Good little ditty Ah yes Good old Fetty Wap <laughs> Um, for those of you who fell for the old Fetty Wap, <laughs> I got news for y'all. He is arrested again for this time with the intent to deal fentanyl and heroin at the Rolling Loud Festival at City Field in, I believe it was New York City or Chicago. And my man. Okay, first of all, you make shit music, okay? But 
enough people loved it that you got rich, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> um, what is remarkable is is once you make it to the top, okay? You made it. You're famous. Why the fuck are you trying to sell drugs at a music concert, you dumb son of a bitch? I mean, really. You fucking income fucking poop. <laughs> this is not the first time that Mr. Wap has been uh, in trouble with the law as he was caught drunk driving just the last year or two years ago. And though that might not be as shocking, what is shocking is my man's is blind. <laughs> <laughs> He is blind in one eye. So, <laughs> how the fuck? First of all, who the fuck gave that guy a license to drive? <laughs> and then secondly, what what fucking bartender was like, yo? Let me give you some shots of Jameson. Have some proper shitsky on me. Oh, what's that? You're going to drive home? You got one good eye, son. What the hell are you doing, fam? Call an Uber or Lyft. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, man. It's just wild. How the fuck is he even allowed to drive to start with, let alone drink driving <laughs> with one good eye? <laughs> and then now... <laughs> Probably to pay for his legal fees for the DUI, he's fucking selling fentanyl and heroin at a fucking concert. This is just wild, allegedly. Um, unbelievable. But y'all fell for it, okay? I know some of y'all listening is like, oh, I love Mr. Wap. He's got that. <laughs> you love that shit. You fell for it. You motherfuckers, man. This guy is a danger to society. <laughs> <laughs> he makes shite music for the kids. And <laughs> drunk driving and blind in one eye. <laughs> and now he's fucking dealing fucking smack at a concert. <laughs> Allegedly. What the hell? <laughs> Arrest this man at once. <laughs> oh, my days. Well, are you retarded? <laughs> well, are you retarded? Talk about a danger to the fucking society. How is this guy even allowed to be outside right now? <laughs> oh, my God. If anybody should be in lockdown in Australia, it's fucking Fetty Web. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, damn it. So I'm going to end the show today with a little update about my former boss. As y'all know, I spoke about uh, one of my former bosses who had a cucumber placed in his arsehole. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Apparently, you know, because uh, he thought it would be a good idea to steal from the store, he has now surfaced and returned with a shaved head and a mask. And apparently, apparently, came into the store to steal again. I mean, shocker. Absolute fucking shocker. (laughs) This person is supposed to be banned from my work. And not only has he showed up at my location, he's also showed up at his former location and proceeded to go into the back office when he knows he's not supposed to be there. How the hell... Did somebody not notice this man going into the back office? Hello? He's a thief. He's a liar. And it's not even alleged. That's proof it. How the hell y'all let this motherfucker in the back office is beyond me. So, um, you know, there were some red flags raised when uh, my former boss came in with a shaved head wearing a mask and... Other employees had reported that he never wore a mask. So we all uh, thought that was a bit odd and then proceeded to get a couple hundred bucks worth of product uh, put in a bag. But (laughs) his plan was foiled when the police came in at random and scared him off. However, he proceeded to go to another location 
and apparently try and return some items that I'm going to go out ahead and say that he did not pay for <laughs> and try to get some some monies back, if you will. The old scam. <laughs> Let me steal something and get money back. Um, you know, this guy, what a real piece of work. Uh, like I mentioned before, I mean, just the guy is the scum of the earth. And the fact that they put cucumbers in his ass when he was passed out is poetic justice. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I see this motherfucker, I'm going to start throwing cucumbers at him. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> Holy shit. But my thought is, in some bizarre thinking in his mind, getting fired from stealing wasn't enough. He's going to come back to the store and try and steal again. And it's like, bruh, what the fuck is your deal? You got three kids. You owe back child support. I get it. You're desperate. But your bitch ass has hands and feet. Those same hands that are used to steal, allegedly. Um, Get your ass a job. Go to Home Depot. Go to fucking Costco. Go to fucking post office. I don't know, bitch. But you don't need to steal. Why don't you be a good fucking example to your three kids? Instead of being a fucking jackass and thinking the world owes you something. The world doesn't owe you shit, bitch. Okay? The world does not owe you shit. And the fact that you stepped out on your wife. (laughs) You stepped out on your wife with somebody else who was also married or in a relationship. And then that bitch didn't want you. And then you tried to go back to your wife. And then she said, no, fuck you. (laughs) <laughs> See you as a court. This is this is what Mother Nature says. Hold my beer. This is what we know as karma. And cucumber man, God bless you, but you need help. <laughs> you need help. You need to pay your back child support that you owe. And then your bitch ass needs to get a job and take care of your damn kids. Stop being foolish. Stop trying to come back to the scene of the crime that you robbed before. It does. Don't try it again, fam. You got caught, son. I, I'm I'm surprised that he didn't get arrested. That my, my work did not file charges against this man. He is lucky. But they should fucking file charges now because he's coming back to steal some more. <laughs> <laughs> he's coming back to steal some more. <laughs> oh my days! Fuck that rata. I mean, really, dude. Have some fucking decency. You know, you're you're a so-called air quotes man. Why don't you do the right thing? Why don't you be honest? Get your ass a job and do do right by your kids. This the whole shit's crazy. I I I don't want to uh, I don't want to alleged I'll allegedly say that this reasoning it's got to be drugs. <laughs> he must be getting drugs from Fetty Wap. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine my fucking boss? Uh, hello, Mr. Mr. Wop. Uh, uh, hold on. I can't hear you. Let me pull the cucumber out of my ass. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wop, may I please get some fentanyl? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Wap. What was that? Okay, you, you have heroin too? Perfect, I'll take that too. <laughs> oh my days. Wow, karma. I mean, I had only wished, I had only wished that this man would sign a release form, but uh, he is too, too, he is too much of a pushy to fight me. <laughs> but it's, what, is, what is remarkably shocking is he's got this little huzzy with him who's running schemes with him too and i'm like damn this bitch had cucumbers in his ass he don't pay for his kids and he got a girlfriend what the hell do i gotta do to get a girlfriend (laughs) (laughs) commit murder (laughs) (laughs) holy shit (laughs) this is unbelievable (laughs) oh damn all right i must end this it is the middle of the night It is business hours in London, and I must shut this thing off and get ready to take care of some business before I fly to Houston. Please, 
like, share, and subscribe to Rambo Per Radio. Don't bother going to RamboPerRadio.com. That shit is, has never been updated since fucking 2017. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't plan on updating it, damn it. I just don't have the time. I don't care. But please, I, I appreciate every single one of you who listen to the show, who, who like subscribe download leave me comments uh for those of you who leave me comments on youtube i think that's fucking awesome i don't know how to respond or what to do or how i don't know how this shit works so i'm just gonna say thank you (laughs) oh god damn it and i'm wishing you a safe and wonderful week Inspect your Halloween candy for razor blades or, in Fetty Wap's case, uh, fentanyl. <laughs> <laughs> Get out here drug sniffing dog if you got candy at Fetty Wap's house. Because <laughs> that shit's got heroin in it. <laughs> oh my days. All right. I will talk to y'all next week. Inshallah. God willing, my plane takes off. God willing, nobody punches a stewardess in the face. God willing, somebody wears doesn't take their mask off and the plane gets delayed. Or worse, my flight gets canceled. So, much love. Peace. Lord! <laughs> <laughs> put your cash in the mess. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you Oh, fuck you, fuck you Fuck you, fuck you Fuck, 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 f